Hello friends, this is Sam McClure with the Adoption Law Firm, and today we have an Auburn fan with us. Where are you going? And an Alabama fan with us. Roll Tide. Now, you may be considering that the middle of a pandemic is not the right time to begin the adoption process. That's a legitimate question. There may be a lot of, a lot less discretionary income during a famine, but I do want to encourage you that it may be the perfect time to start. A lot of stories have been coming out that the child abuse reports have grown exponentially during this season. And uh, there's a lot of ways to fund an adoption creatively. First of all, foster care. If you're adopting out of foster care, you pay zero dollars. The state actually uh, pays a thousand dollars of legal fees to cover your adoption expenses. There's also a lot of creative ways to fund an adoption. There's adoption granting organizations that exist primarily and solely for the purpose of helping good families adopt children and covering all their expenses. It's not unheard of for a family to get all of their adoption expenses covered through adoption granting. Also, there's the federal adoption tax credit that covers between twelve dollars and $13,000 of your adoption uh, expenses. You get a tax credit for up to twelve dollars to $13,000 of your adoption expenses. Most adoptions that we work on don't even cost that much. And so, is during a pandemic the right time to start an adoption process. What do you think, Andrew? Yes, I think it is. Ruby, do you think people should not adopt because of the coronavirus? Talk to you later.